Okay, uh, first X Ways Forensics video with sound. Uh, thank you very much to Stefan for um, arranging me to have a microphone for doing this. Um, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, this video is to demonstrate the simultaneous search feature um, and specifically a, a little known fact that as a simultaneous search is running, which can be can take quite a long time. Um, it's not obvious that you can actually pause that process and look at the results that are found to date. It does say in the manual, but um, it, you might not notice it day to day. So just to demonstrate this, I've created a new case. I've added uh, three forensic images to it, um, and I've made sure the partitions have all been traversed and loaded up into XI Forensics. So to do a simultaneous search, obviously we click the blue binoculars, and then uh, you have the dialog in which you wish to search. So in here you can do search for all sorts, uh, but in this example what I want to show you uh, is the ability to uh, search in hexadecimal for one thing using a grep syntax, um, uh, and that's particularly useful as well if you want to search particular parts of a sector for a particular byte pair or sequence of hex bytes. Um, for example in this situation where you might be looking for partition structures for particular file systems um, and things like that. One of my previous blog entries talks about doing that. Um, so what I'll just quickly do here is do a search for the commonly known NTFS uh, end of partition uh, hex pair um, and we'll click grep syntax um, and the point I was saying earlier was using this conditional offset here what you can do, I'm not going to do it in this case but what you can do is ask Xways Forensics only to search a particular uh, range of bytes in a particular sector so it doesn't search the whole sector of every sector it finds it looks in a particular spot of each sector and sees if the match is there um, and in this case of uh, Linux X234 superblocks um, starting at the 56th byte is quite a significant point um, I can't remember the hex pattern off the top of my head but um, it can be done but anyway I'm not going to do that in this case I just want it to search the whole sector we know that that usually appears at the end of the sector so we could easily apply that if we wanted to uh, but I'm not going to do it for the sake of simplicity so we click OK to that it will then ask us what forensic images you want to search across, I'm going to choose them all but I could just do that one or that one or whatever I want I'm going to do them all and we go OK so then it comes up with this now in the case of partition typey stuff um, obviously you might know it's got just a little way in that it's probably found what you're after so you don't need to wait for this to get to 100% which a lot of people think that you do with the simultaneous search because there's no obvious abort or pause or review results but if we click the blue binoculars behind it, what happens is it asks us what forensic images we want to search the results for so far. And then up here, as you can see, uh, it lists them all that it's found so far. Um, and when you click on any of these, it will show you, let's just move that out of the entries that it's found. And there, as an example, is one that it's found right at the bottom. Um, of the NTFS partition. Um, and you could plot on looking through these for other ones if you thought there's some some more might be somewhere else. Um, but I don't think there is so far, there probably will be further along. Uh, but I just wanted to quickly demonstrate that point. So there we have our 55AA. But we can do this for, in other words, we don't have to wait for the remaining 90% of the search to continue. And so we can, and we can apply the search in other ways. Uh, let's just say we want to do a search for the word testing. We'll get rid of the grip syntax, and we'll do a search. And the same theory applies. And what you can also do. Um, is you can choose which forensic images you want to do the search across uh, but I'm going to ask it to do it all and we go OK 
okay for 90 minutes. We don't want to wait to the end, we want to see what those hits are. We click with the binoculars, we click OK, and they all come up straight away. Um, and if we put the, the viewing components review mode, we can then see the hits as well. Uh, so that's it, just a little simple thing, nothing too complicated, but uh, a useful feature nonetheless. Okay, thanks.